there! When Chapter 5 Season 3 began, I decided to take a break from Fortnite. Two months have now passed and I've returned, and there's a mysterious character patrolling the island, a hulking great nitro addict preparing to destroy our home, and a Marvel character messing around with infamous Iron Man tech. And all of this, for some reason, is linked to Pandora's box. I think we need a story recap of Chapter 5. Here's seven months in about 12 minutes. My name is Adamaru, good to see you again. Before the Wanderer arrived, before Zeus waged war on humanity, things were very different. We had just travelled back in time to the OG island and unleashed the power of the Zero Point, freeing everyone trapped within. That should have been the end of it all, but Loopers needed that battle royale feeling and a new island became our home. The only link to our past was through Jonesy, the blonde ding dong who was once our enemy became the hero of this story and immediately we had a problem. Peely. The scientific accident merging man and banana, and the best friend of Jonesy, had been kidnapped by the tyrants of this new island known as the Society, a bunch of socialites with more money than sense. To combat this, Jones joined another faction, the Underground, fighting to topple the Society. As Season 1 continued, our hunt for Peely uncovered two plot points. First, the leader of the Underground, Hope here, has a sister named Valeria, who just so happens to be a key member of the Society who are looking for something. By visiting Valeria's home, we could find a simple book laid open. Little did we know at the time, but this was a sketch of Pandora's box, the very same one from Greek myth. The Society planned to locate and open that box, and if the prophecies were true, it would change the island forever. While Valeria and the Society hunted for that box, Jones and the Underground casually freed a kidnapped banana. We didn't play through a mission by the way, it was just a loading screen. And I'm still not over this Epic Games. We definitely needed a mission, not just a loading screen. Anyway, we don't have time to get mad because Valeria did it. She found Pandora's box and it was amazing. A titan hand protected the chest and chains prevented anyone from accidentally opening it. Of course, the loopers couldn't resist and within a few hours, it was open. With the seal broken and the souls of the damned escaping, season 2 began, Myths and Mortals. As quickly as the box was opened, it was slammed shut by the gods of the Greek pantheon. Everyone was here, from the Hound of Hell Cerberus to the Goddess of Sexy Time, Aphrodite, all led by the one and only Zeus. Both the Underworld and Mount Olympus came to the island, including one of the biggest statues we'd ever seen before. Zeus was enraged. His hatred for mankind became the main focus of the season. We needed to convince other gods to support us, and to do that, we became their servants. More on that in a sec, as something unprecedented happened. Midas returned. The man with the golden touch was once a pivotal member of the story. He was first seen over five years ago repurposing a doomsday machine made by IO, a group that once controlled the zero point, you know, before we blew that thing up. Midas used his machine to break the boundaries of the loop years before we finally managed it permanently. After the doomsday device event, Midas vanished. Some say he was eaten by a shark, but now we know for sure. Midas was a prisoner in the underworld. The Greek myth of King Midas is law in the Fortnite world. His escape was assisted by members of the Shadow Unit who never gave up on their leader. Oh, and Midas is now confirmed to be more powerful than we first thought. Not just a golden touch, he can enchant entire volcanoes into spewing out golden magma to aid his escape. He finally left the island by sailing away. He came to Spawn Island to say goodbye, and then he left. Let's hope it's not another five years before we see him again. By the time the Golden Touch dude got away, the madness of Zeus became palpable. His disdain for humans who helped free his prisoner became a declaration of war. The gods versus the mortals. We did not stand a chance, and the once strong society had already left the island and gone into hiding. Luckily though, other gods had warmed up to us. Aphrodite was now our ally, as was Artemis, and even Hades, the god of the underworld, supposedly the most evil god of all, joined our side. It 
it was thanks to two individuals that we lived long enough to tell this story, as the Oracle, basically a speaking bowl of water, and the snake-headed Medusa found Zeus's weaknesses. All his godly powers came from the sands of time. So we just simply broke the hourglass and Zeus was no longer immortal. Canonically, Jones and Hope took out the Allfather, but we know it was us who did it really. The season ended with an ominous quote from the Oracle. Storm clouds gather. The Wanderer draws near. Even in the darkness, hope will guide you. She foretold the Wanderer's approach months before it happened. We didn't have time to think about it then, because Zeus left us one last gift before he was banished. Pandora's box, the object that started this story, was still the focus of the season and whatever Zeus unleashed with his last breath was approaching in a ball of dust. Season 3 brought in a desert wasteland to the south of the island and a new enemy took control, the nitro-infused Megalodon. It looks like the bolt from Pandora's box dragged the Don's Leviathan ship to the island, crashing and becoming marooned. We quickly found this faction's motivations are to destroy the island and then get back on the open waves. Luckily, there is something stopping Megalodon's plans. The Leviathan is stuck fast and is all out of fuel. All the gauges read zero. A huge refinery has been constructed, mining our island's nutrients for two reasons. First, to refuel the Leviathan, but also to perfect Nitro. Fortnite's super-powered speed goo or fast juice if you prefer the previous titles. Nitro is so potent that one dose can let a mere mortal run through walls. Nitro is pure chaos. Over at the rig you'll find the Machinist. Not only has she found a rich ore to mine into, she's already constructed fuel lines to get the Leviathan back into action ASAP. And as the final few days of the season approach, the fuel pipe will evolve and reach the Leviathan imminently. We do not have much time to put a plan together. But not to worry, our reluctant heroes, Hope and Jones, have been working hard this chapter. The dynamic duo have been tracking down gems in the wasteland. And not just any unrelated gems, oh no, these are the gems from Pandora's box. I told you everything leads back to that chest. Four of them in total, the first stolen from Megalodon's garage, then another for impressing Scar at the Nitro Dome, a bizarre quest from Peabody gifted us gem number three, and lastly this gem was stolen from Don's secret stash location. But what the heck are these things for? Well there's something strange to note. Handling these gems causes the holder to experience visions and crippling headaches. It is said the graffiti around the island is directly due to wastelanders seeing visions and then painting their foresight. Hope herself tells about one of her visions. The mysterious wanderer was seen speaking to Megalodon. Don't tell Jones. I don't want him to worry. And we're so close to getting the good ending here. Finally, with all the gems procured, we can hand over all four orbs to Hope, who makes a startling discovery. Who are you? Call me the Oracle, my child. And oh boy, do we have some talking to do. It's the Oracle. They were her visions being pushed through those gems. The bowl of water that helped us defeat Zeus and the Greek gods has returned to guide us into the final battle with Megalodon. And more importantly, shed light on the mysterious hooded figure who has the uncanny ability to fade out of sight when we approach. After activating the four gems, star constellations begin to cycle before our eyes, and each look to be a clue towards the future of Fortnite. Sword, Hope, Doom, and Ghost. Coincidentally, the Ghost constellation lines up perfectly with the Ghost logo from Chapter 2. So maybe a sooner return of Midas than we anticipated. And this one here, I'm told, represents Doom. That's either our demise, or the Marvel character is returning to the island. We just have the small matter of defeating Megalodon first. But wait, there's more going on here. 
Aside from Hope and Jones, another character is quietly doing his own thing on the island, beginning a subplot which could change everything. Magneto is here, the Marvel villain or anti-hero I guess depending on perspective, and unlike previous seasons where the crossover skin is just there to look good, his presence this season can't be overlooked. Magneto has regained his powers of manipulating metals with telekinesis and is secretly plotting something with our island. He has erected rift beacons around the map. We've seen these things twice before. First in Chapter 1 when the scientists brought realities from other worlds to Fortnite, including Gotham City, and then this tech was advanced by Iron Man in Chapter 2 as a chunk of New York was ported over, including Stark Industries. Now, three chapters later, they are back, and Magneto has sneakily activated them. All signs point towards Marvel's heroes and villains impacting the story imminently. And the Marvel influence doesn't stop there. When Chapter 5 began, a plane crashed in the snowy mountains, and each update, it slowly slid down the glacier as the ice melted and the snow became water. We didn't think much of it then, yet now the ice has melted further, a secret bunker was spotted, sealed tightly. We've since found out that this was another Marvel crossover, as Weapon X, the original Wolverine character, had escaped its facility and now hides among us on the island. The Marvel season is coming very soon. Fortnite Chapter 5 is building up nicely, from small beginnings between squabbling sisters to the discovery of Pandora's box, from fighting gods to foreseeing the future itself. The latest saga in the Fortnite anthology is about to get good. Now I will leave you with a question, who is the Wanderer? A new character perhaps? Could it be Geno, the immortal leader of the Imagined Order? Or could it be Doctor Doom, coming back after being defeated in the Fortnite comic books? Time will tell, and hopefully next season will be marvellous. I'm Adam, you're awesome, it's been a pleasure, I'll see you next time.